Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Lion Stack. So today I got something special to show you. We got a BAC condenser that uh, had a pretty catastrophic failure and um, um, I'm kind of disturbed by what happened. So I'll show you what's going on here. Uh, there's, a, there's a motor that had a failure. <clears throat> the motor um, fan blade uh, assembly dropped out of the stator the rotor fell off the stator somehow and it fell into the coil and just and destroyed the coil on this bc an adiabatic condenser a trillium stock condenser and uh it just sucks that my customer had to pay almost thirty thousand dollars in freon and uh <clears throat> and then he had to he you now he's gonna have to pay for um all the repairs um, to replace the coil and all our labor to do all that and it's because uh, this fan motor that just ha has like a two dollar not even that like a 20 cent part in it part in that in that thing that failed and allowed this this uh, rotor to fall out of the stator and that the whole family is attached to this this if you guys know what I'm talking about the trillium stock condensers have those German style made motors on top of them and uh just fell out and this isn't the only time i've seen this happen this has happened a few times so let's get in there and i'll show you what i'm talking about take a look at this here i'll show you real quick and uh it's, this is pretty stupid so blade hasn't been touched we haven't touched it since it failed uh but check this out destroyed our coil coils and it just fell out so you can see that yep they need some kind of bracing to go across these and that's what we're going to do today we're going to put this bracing across this today to prevent this from happening again on the other condenser there's two of these here so, not very cool that BAC did this or has these motors and, and that didn't provide any protection when they fail. And this is obviously, this is, this is the only time this has happened to me. And uh, BAC is the only, is the only uh, uh, condenser manufacturer or evaporator manufacturer who actually uses these motors. So, um, Heatcraft uses them. Um, um, uh, Gutner uses the same exact motors in their systems, and uh, it's just kind of disturbing to see this. So, yeah, they lost the whole charge, nearly the whole charge. It was, uh, it was at 29 psi the whole system, um, and kind of, kind of makes you think, you know, that you know these things aren't really bulletproof in the factory. Uh, uh, one little 20 cent part could cause the whole thing to fail. So I'm going to take that motor out today. I'm going to take it back to my shop or in my take it back to my van <laughs> and uh, to pull, pull the motor apart and see exactly what failed on it. So you guys can see exactly how that motor failed and uh, precautions the BAC could make or the motor manufacturer could make um, when uh, providing these motors to BAC. I don't feel like, I, I feel that BAC provides a wonderful product. I love their condensers, I love their evaporators. Um, but this kind of a failure to lose over $30,000 in Freon. And, um, and uh, as soon as I get the pricing and stuff for the coils, it's gonna be probably, I don't know, maybe another $30,000. So, I have no clue, but uh, I'm hoping it's not. Uh, other than that, um, let's get in there and fix this thing.
gets you have to pop all these wires off too. So does them do. Oh no, these these there you go. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, pop these off. I think it's just some good. Yep. I'll pop it out now. Can you pop it out? Look at that. Would you look at that? The clip just fell right. Just... right there. All the bearing seized up. Yep, that top bearing seized up. And it caused it to fall out. That's not good. Safety first. Pricey bass? Yes, sir. Yep. Want to go home safe today. So he's going to go ahead and pull that, that cage out. Remove the pump to the side so we can get in there. Where'd the other one of these go? What'd you do with it? In here? squeeze by there, huh? You're not that fat. Well, that'll probably be a tripping hazard. I'm going to be running in and out of there. Okay. Let's uh, get, get these in here and see if they can go all the way across. Huh? Probably not. No. <laughs> huh?
slide it under. Can you pull a little more? Pull back. Back. Well, slight miscalculation. We're going to have to go through the fan. We're going to have to go through all the fans. So, um, I don't know why you make things so difficult. I just want to, we might have to pull it back out. I might cut these and bend these tabs down and use these holes um, in here and here to mount them. You know what I mean? So we might we we could just cut them to length, a little bit past, bend the tabs down, and tech screw them in here, oh, here, yeah. huh? Here and here. We can just do that. Yeah. You want to do that? That will work. Seems like it's gonna take a little more work, but at least we don't have to take a fan off. Even though that's only four volts. But like we have nowhere to drill into here. I got. I don't want to drill up. I want to kind of drill. So let's go ahead and uh, cut the length, and then um, we'll just take uh, a, little, a, little, a little extra, and uh, then we'll make a we'll make a tab. We'll bend down the tab, and then. So let's do that. Want to take it out? Okay, break this, break this measurement down, okay? Um, I'm going to say 30 40. 34, okay? Oh, see, this one's different. Okay, the first fan is 34. Second fan is 35 and a quarter. Okay? Here, I'm writing this down. You're not writing shit down. So. You're just nodding your head. Yep. Well, that's what it is today. So, 34. Okay. Thirty-five and a quarter. Okay. This should be thirty. This is thirty-four. So we need we need we need four that are thirty-four, 34 and two that are thirty-five and a quarter. How's this measure? That's how he measures. This is my measuring tape. That's how you measure it. You got, you got it, Seabass? I got it. All right, cool. I'll hold it. All right, get that damn thing out of the way. <laughs> So how are we gonna cut that? So you got a bento. So we're gonna cut it two inches longer. So 36 and 37. It's kind of. So we're gonna cut it two inches longer. And so because we gotta uh, get, get some cutters and bent and machine metal benders and bend those down to make them fit exactly. So all right, guys, we got them all done. Uh, all the all the bracing done. We're gonna put on either catch the fans if they ever do decide to fall again. So this little bit of material is gonna save the customer, like. $30,000 in Fran. <laughs> it's not that much to do. So if you guys have any of these condensers, try to brace them up. Try to uh, save your customer from spending that kind of money. You know, I'm talking with VAC right now and uh, seeing what they can do uh, as far as on their, their future uh, condensers. Just try to prevent this kind of stuff from happening. So check it out.
them all pre-drilled. Looking good. That's it. We're going to go install them. See you inside. back in and all that bracing's in there now perfect do what you can preventative maintenance guys so or prevent failures <laughs> catastrophic failures um, we're gonna go ahead and pick up and we're done for today so thanks for tuning in I'll see you guys in the next one